guys welcome back to my channel today i'm just kind of sitting down working on a few orders um if you've been following my channel for a while you know that i am a full-time working mom of three and i have a small business on etsy well this year i have started a second etsy shop and i just kind of want to bring you behind the scenes so you can see how I spend time on my shop, on my other business, while I work full time. So right now, all I'm doing is checking my open orders on both of my shops. I'm printing out my shipping labels that I have purchased. I already have my receipts um, printed out and they are next to me on a clipboard. So I'm just gonna kinda quickly get every single order together okay here what i'm doing now i have these little thank you cards that i like to put into my craft etsy shop now a little bit about my first shop that i set up you can find it on etsy and it's called kd's crafty spot that is where i sell my sublimation items my embroidery items any kind of items that i craft I sell on there and each package that I get they get one of those little cards I also have a second shop where I sell sublimation blank so if you are just starting out with sublimation or if you have been doing sublimation for a while and you're interested in where to find cool sublimation blanks check out my shop I'll link it down below it's KD blank studio so now I'm working on something that I have had in my shop for a year and never sold. But all of a sudden, these little tooth fairy door hangers have become very popular. It is the second best seller in my shop. And what it is, it's a door hanger that I stitch out made a felt on my embroidery machine and it just has a little message that says to fairy please stop here and it has a little pocket so that you can put your child's tooth in it hang it on the door and when they wake up there's a little surprise in that pocket from the tooth fairy very popular um in the future i'm going to say about embroidering a name on the pocket that way it's personalized to each child so again i'm just packing the order up sitting it to the side and getting ready for my next one so this is one of the items that i have in my sublimation blank shops these are sublimation mouse pads right here are some little thank you cards that i just bought off of amazon I include those in my blank orders only because it's not customized to my shop just yet. I also write a little note on every single um, order that I get. I write a little note to the person that purchases it on the receipt, just thanking them again for choosing my shop out of all the other shops that are on Etsy to have enough faith in me to complete their order, I just like to leave a little personal note. And when I ship out my mouse pads, I like to use these little 10 by 13 Polly Miller bags. I get those from Amazon, I believe they're like 14, for a pack of 100, and I'll leave a link down at the bottom so you can check those off if you, check them out, I'm sorry, if you are interested in those. Okay, so I'm getting everything together. I'm gonna bag it up. And the way I do my orders, since I do work full time, I work at a place where the mail gets dropped off each day. So once I complete my orders, I will pack them up the night before work. And when I leave in the morning, I have a bag that I take to work with me. And I drop all of my packages off at the front door. It's convenient to me i don't have to drop them off at the post office i don't have to leave them in my mailbox at home i just take them directly to work with me saves me so much time so 
Ginger right now. I am working on my number one seller in my Etsy shop. And it has been my asthma inhaler cases. I was inspired to make these cases because my son was diagnosed with asthma when he was about seven years old. And he has to keep an inhaler with him. Right now he's 15, teenage boy, you know that age. Sometimes they can become forgetful on what they actually need to bring with them versus what they actually want to bring with them. So when I found this design, I was like, how cool is this? If we need this, there may be other people out there that need it. So right now in my shop, I have three different styles. I have the arrow case and a little froggy case and then like a butterfly case. And these have really been a huge seller for me. And I say huge because I am a small shop but they really make up about 75% of the sales that I get in my shop. So I've already stitched it out of my embroidery machine. Right now I'm just cutting it out. And with the file that I use, I can stitch out two at a time. So things like this that sell pretty well in my shop, I like to have some on hand. So when I stitch two out, I will cut them out and then I don't if you can see my little rolling cart that's right there by the door it's next to my embroidery machine I actually have two of those and when I stitch those cases out I cut them out and I sit them to the side that way when I get another order all I have to do is add the snaps and then add like a little swivel d-ring to it that way it can clip on your purse backpack whatever it is you want it to clip to. Sometimes if I have enough time at nighttime, because that's when I do my best work for my shop, I'll go ahead and I'll put the snaps in them. That way when I get an order for it, all I have to do is just go ahead and add that little key ring to it and it is good to go. I know this video has been a little bit different from the normal videos that I do, but I really want to start doing more videos throughout the week because I'm gaining new subscribers and some are subscribing because of the embroidery, some are subscribing because of the sublimation. So what I've decided to do is each week, I want to upload at least three videos. So you're going to be able to find at least one embroidery video every Sunday. We are doing Sublimation Sunday. So if you're interested in sublimation, you can find me sublimating a different item on Sundays. And on Wednesdays, I would like to just do, I'm trying to come up with themes for the days that I upload. So for Wednesdays, I'm kind of thinking about whatever Wednesday. Since I do other crafts besides embroidery and sublimation, I feel like I should just throw a random craft in there. So it can be whatever and who knows, just if you get an alert on Wednesdays or just check my channel on Wednesdays and then you can see what kind of video I decided to upload. Well guys, this is coming to an end. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.